Anyway, girls, I'm going to sit down. I love these girls. You know what? I love women. I don't know. I, I don't know when this happened. I didn't used to love women. At 30, uh, when I first got married, I didn't even want to go to a ladies' retreat. I told my husband, I want to be with you. I was, I was ignorant. <laughs> Then after you have children and you're home all by yourself, all alone, but then, then you change your whole, everything changes, you know? It's like, I need friends. <laughs> I need girls. <laughs> you just totally change. I love women. So I have some of the neatest women with me today. And, you know, um, just can you tell your story real quick, how God gave you beauty for ashes? Hi, my name's Christy. I'm a recovering love junkie. <laughs> I was, uh, men were my drug of choice, and uh, I thought as soon as I got married that all my troubles would be over. <laughs> Boy, what a joke that was. <laughs> my first marriage was a disaster. My husband was addicted to drugs and pornography, and he was allergic to work. <laughs> and I was angry, and every day I got angrier and angrier. And true to self, I thought another man was the answer. And so for a while, I calmed my pain with some affairs. Um, and that worked okay for a while until I got busted. And, you know, getting to the end of myself is exactly where God wanted me. And for the first time in my life, I mean, I'd grown up and I mean, I'd been to church and I'd been saved, but I never really knew that Jesus was the man I was looking for, yeah. that he was the one that could restore me. And I wish I could tell you that my recovery from relationship addiction changed my marriage, but it didn't. The only thing it changed was me. And God started showing me that no matter what was going on around me, no matter if I lost my cars, my house, got threatened with a shotgun, the drug abuse got worse, that I could still walk in peace, that I could walk in joy, that I could walk in forgiveness. Unfortunately, after 10 years of marriage and three children, we were divorced. And um, a couple of years after our divorce, my ex-husband had our two boys for the weekend. Garrett was five and Jake was two. And uh, he hit another car head on in broad daylight. And um, Garrett spent five days in children's hospital and um, Jake didn't make it. But you know, I had every right to be angry and nobody would have, not even the church, not even my Christian friends would have blamed me. In fact, they probably would have consoled me and at some of them. But you know what? Jesus showed up at the hospital and he said, Christy, I was there. I was there at the accident. And at the moment of that impact, my hand extended out of heaven and Jake said, oh, see you later guys. I'm out of here. And That one tiny glimpse of the beauty beyond the ashes is where I have fixed my eyes for the last 11 years. You know, ladies, in, in adversity, you may not have lost a child, but none of us are immune to the issues of life. And, and in times of adversity, there's only two garments to choose from. You either wear the rags of misery or a garment of praise. And I didn't want to go back to being that bitter woman that I used to be because I knew instantly I would have been like Cinderella and gone back to my ashes. And I chose to walk in forgiveness. And, you know, being locked in, being bound by bitterness is like being locked in a dark closet with no light. And, and you can't see and you starve to death. But God showed me the beauty beyond the pain. And her... This is a different Christy because I knew her just maybe a year or two before all this happened, and you're to, you're so much more together. You're you know what I'm saying. You know where you're going. You, she's a speaker. She's a writer. She just has vision. She's confident, and she's just amazing. And that's the beauty too. And and then the hope of even death has no sting.